Good morning guys, we are on to our maths today. Now we're starting our new unit this week. So you've been doing some practicing yesterday on some adding and subtracting. And today we're focusing on adding um, and then most likely tomorrow we'll focus on subtraction. Now I've got um, four number sentences here. So we call this a number sentence. And we're going to do four together and then I've got some for you to have a go at doing on your own at home. Now, when we're doing adding at the moment, we're still using um, pictures and things. I've just drawn some counters. It's easy to draw, easy to recognise, easy to count. So, I, my first number sentence reads five add four equals. So, my first job is to draw the amount I need first, which is five. One, two, three, four, five. So I draw five counters. Now I need to add four, which means I need four more counters. I'm going to get a different colour to what I use for these counters. And I'm going to represent that number there, four. So I've represented my number five, one, two, three, four, five. And I've represented my number four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to count how many we've got all together because I'm adding these two numbers together, which means I need to add these amounts of counters together. So counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'll write the answer, give it my black pen, write the answer after my equal sign and I can check my number sentence five add four equals nine and I've done my representation underneath we're going to move on to the next one and I've got nine add nine equals really important that before you start working out your number sentence that you read the whole thing through first so you know what you're doing so as I've done with this one, I've represented my number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to represent the number that I'm adding, which happens to be number nine again. Still going to do it in my different um, coloured pen so I know that I'm representing a different number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got representation of both of my numbers. Now I need to add them together. How many have I got all together? And we're going to count. You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So nine add nine is eighteen. I've represented it with my pictures. Um, I don't have to use counters. Um, I could use a bead string. I could use cubes. I could use um, compare bears. But I need to count them all together. Now we're going to do the next one. Read it first. 15 add 3 equals. So I've represented my number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I need to represent my next number, which is my number 3. Different coloured pen. 1, 2, 3. Now I need to add them together. So I need to count them all together. Now I know I've got 15 here, so I'm not going to count them again. I'm just going to count on from 15. So I go 15, 16, 17, 18. So I know that 15 add 3 equals 18. On to my final one that we're going to do all together and then you will have a go at doing it on your own. You can set it out exactly how I've done it, drawing those counters. Just you can use some um, coloured crayons, just draw some circles to represent it. So reading my number sentence first, 20 add 5 equals so let's check i've represented the number 20 right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I've represented the number 20. I'm adding five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to add these together. Again, I know I've got 20. We've just counted them all together. So I'm going to count on from 20. So I go 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I write my answer in 25. So 20 add 5 equals 25. Now it is really important when you are writing your numbers that you make sure your numbers are the right way round. I want you to really think about how we form the numbers. It is as important focusing on how we form our numbers as it is on how we form our letters. Now, I want you to go back to the slide. And on the slide, there is some um, number sentences for you to have a go <clears throat> at on your own. Draw in the pictures just like we have done together and adding them together and finding out the answer and completing the number sentence. Don't forget to take a picture of your work and send it in so that we can give you your dojo points.